Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Okay, video is recording. Very good. Audio cable's in there, so we're yep. looking good. Okay, I'm just kind of making sure I'm not all... Downwind for runway 27, full stop, Carson. Making sure I'm not all tangled up here. Bus voltage is well over 13 volts, so we're good there. Transponder is at 1200, set the altitude mode. Radio is set up. We're going to listen to the AWOS. Wind 320 at 8 knots. Visibility more than 1 zero. Sky condition clear below 1 2000. Temperature 1 4 Celsius. Dew point minus 2 Celsius. Altimeter 3 0 1 6 inches of mercury. All right. So we got. So it's a 50 degree crosswind. Automated slash headwind. One, seven, it's 50 one, degrees eight, between 27 and 320. So three, we'll one, go 27. Right. Eight, nine, yeah, because it's more than one zero. Sky condition clear. Yeah, because it's, it's coming out of the uh, mostly the west, but a little bit of north. So we're all right there. Altimeter. We're going to set that. Go so about there. The one on the uh, display is, eh, that's better. All right, the instruments are looking good. All right, we're ready to do a brake test and taxi. All right, canopy is closed and locked. Got to check the brakes. Brakes are working. I'm going to make our announcement. Carson traffic sling 8 Sierra Lima leaving Sterling Air 427 via Alpha. bad. It's coming down yeah. the runway, so. So we're going to get more crosswind practice today. That'll be good. A little bit. Doesn't look bad, though. Yeah. Looking at the windsock flapping around yeah. over there. Seems like it's more variable. Yeah. Oh, he's going around. Yeah. Yeah, it's going around. Yeah. I don't see him yet, but he's probably right over there. Yeah, I think I saw him coming in when we were over All right, looking for traffic. There yep, he is. There he is. I don't see anybody on the taxiway. Little gas to get up the hill. <laughs> Come on now, you can do it. All right, get this, get this thing moving. I'm gonna see what the weather's like in Minden. Four two five, that turning base. Or sorry, correction. Get left down one for runway two seven. Carson, full stop, Carson. All right, got to get my steering under control here. At Minden, it's 30 degrees, 8 to 14 knots. Wow. That's kind of a lot. That's and that, a that's lot. A, it's not a really bad crosswind, but we, we, we would if we went there, we would be on 3-4, and it'd be a crosswind coming from the right. Uh, yeah, it would. It's 30 degrees, yeah. 
but those gusts. Yeah, yeah but that, those are pretty good gusts there. Our winds aloft are not bad. Like it's just the wind on the ground that's a little bit. Yeah. Uh, oh. A little gusty. Yeah. See, wind socks don't look too bad right now. No, they don't. All. Somebody in the run-up area. Closing to Turkey 425 shot, uh, turning base to final for runway 27, full stop, Carson. I'm looking for him. Right there. Oh, there he is. Yeah. All right, so. When you said base to final, I was looking more. Yeah. Oh, cool. We can move ourselves over there now. Yep. Oh crap, are they going back? What are they doing? Oh, he's just looking around. Okay. But yeah, so we can continue. Because since they have a high wing, um, they need to do circles sometimes. Yeah, because they can't see. Especially the tail draggers need to do circles. Yeah. They only see some Cessnas doing circles like that on the ground. <laughs> I'm, that's one of my favorite things about the sling is that you can see everything so well. True, true. All right, where we are, we're at the run-up. Okay, facing the best we can into the wind. Carson, traffic says uh, 512 Romeo will be lining up and wait runway 2 set for less traffic. All right. Uh, bricks are set and held. Tram. Looks, ah, looks tram's pretty looking good. pretty good, yeah. Controls, let's make sure I can manipulate the controls all the way around. And looks like everything's working right. All right, up to 4,000 RPM. That's good enough. Mag lane check. Lane B off. Back on. Okay. A off. Back on. Okay. Reduce to 2,000 RPM. or thereabouts. Bag lanes both on. Fuel pump check. Auxiliary pump on. Main off. Engine kept running. Main back on. Both of them on. Engine instruments are all in the green. Flight instruments are looking pretty good. Yeah. All right, breakers are all in, nothing popped out. Seat belts are on and locked. Canopy is closed and locked. Flaps. Position one for takeoff. And don't forget to set your your waypoint here. Yeah, it doesn't say it there, but we'll do it. <laughs> All right, we have Carson City selected, so we're good there. Uh, it says we're a half mile away. I'm not sure. Not sure what position they're using. All right, so we're ready to 
Good as a whole Traffic, Skyhawk 328 Mike Echo is flying into the area. We're flying over Spooner Summit now. I see uh, there is traffic in the same direction looking for traffic now. We're at RV7, uh, uh, just south of Spooner, 9,700. All right, we're looking for you now. We're at uh, 9,600, 100 people below you. Yeah, eight go. And the RV is turning southbound. Roger, we'll fly northbound until... Uh, uh, they talked over each other. Okay, it looks like we have a Skyhawk at sight northbound, no factor. Car City Travis, 5132, Romeo's left base, runway 27, touch and go. Okay, he's left base, I see him, so let's uh, wait for this one. So let him know holding short. Carson traffic swing, 8 Sierra Lima, holding short 27 for traffic. Carson traffic, 75132, Romeo's final 27. Carson traffic, Skyhawk 1968, Foxtrot, taxiing from Sterling to 27. And here he comes. on the ground. That looks like a pretty smooth landing. Yeah, yeah. Just waiting for him to okay. uh yeah. to turn. clear it. Oh, he's going oh, up. He's... Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, he's up. He did uh, a longer rollout than I thought would yeah. be necessary. You're on the park, you have the parking brake off? Okay, yeah, good. it's off. Okay, let him know before we go. Yeah. Cars and traffic swing, 8 Sierra Lima. Lining up 27, take off, left pattern. Cars and traffic, says 5132 Romeo, left cross, and 327. Kind of busy today. A little bit, yeah. Okay, so we know that we got a cross, uh, a wind coming from the right, so we're going to need what? A little right aileron. A little bit of right aileron, and yeah. we still might need a little bit of right rudder because of that, the left turning tendency. So just be ready to use both either rudders just as needed, and I'll just be here with you on this one, right. okay? All right, let's go. Carson traffic, seven, five, there we go. Carson traffic, Cap 2757 is going to take runway 27. Will be a okay, left crosswalk departure to the south. Nice. Oh, little yeah. bobble there. I didn't release my aileron. Okay, nose up. Try to tramp for 70 here. Okay. A little bumpy. Yep, that's not bad though.
traffic fleeing H Sierra Lima, turning left crosswind 27. Cars the airport and says that I want to throw me out with that final two seven to show. Cars the traffic out. Up by 757, upwind 27, have the sling in sight. Cool. Okay, we're doing our scanning. We got someone upwind. Yeah. Carson traffic, swing eight Sierra Lima, turning downwind 27. This is traffic cap 2757. Left crosswind and have the sling in sight will be a southbound departure. Um, did you use right, more right rudder than left rudder? No. <laughs> what, what, how, how, how was it? It, it was mostly, uh, it was mostly no rudder, but then a little left. Okay. Right? Because that, it's that right aileron almost made up for it. Yeah. Where we didn't really need, it with the, the kind of a strong crosswind. But yeah, it was, it was really smooth. Yeah, with the uh, airplane's tendency to weather vane into it, yeah. you know, that that kind of changed yeah. things up a little bit. Exactly. All right, reducing the throttle, adding some flaps. Looking good. Trying to maintain between 75 and 70. The airport, just a 5132 Romeo, uh, left route in 2000. Carson traffic, fleeing 8 Sierra Lima, uh, turning base 27. runway yet. And then it comes into sight as we turn and now you can um, switch more back and forth between airspeed and runway. Okay, All we're right. right on the glide slope. Get yourself lined up. Our traffic Let's keep one notch. Okay. Just because of this crosswind, it's better to land with one notch. Alright. And that makes for an easier go around as well. Okay, keep that nose down. See, so you just let it raise a little bit. It's okay, not too much. Add a little bit of power here. Get yourself back to center. You're more off to the left. All right. Carson traffic. There we go. 27 is four miles to the south. Last call. Carson. Okay. Here we go. So you just needed a little bit more uh, right aileron. Okay, uh, throttle idle. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Not bad. We're at Fox 1, so let's go around. I mean, on the go. There we go. Nice. Let's go Carson traffic. Skyhawk 19068 Foxtrot. Take a runway 27 left crosswind departure. Carson traffic. Swing 8 Sierra Lima on the go 27. That, that was really good, and I helped you out because I felt like you didn't want, you weren't putting enough right aileron, so it's just helping you get a little bit more right aileron in there. Okay. And then see, we, we got nice and really, really slow, just like a, maybe a foot above the ground. Right. And that makes for the most smooth landing. But it's really important that we are one to like two feet above the ground when we're that slow. As, as you know, <laughs> yeah. you didn't want to fall, like fall out of the sky pretty much. Yeah, well, we didn't stop, we didn't drop, so. No, no, it was, it was really good. It was a nice glide in. Yeah. 
Carson, traffic swing, H Sierra Lima, turn and left crosswind 27. Traffic, Skyhawk 1968 Foxtrot, left cross sign, runway 27. Cars and traffic, playing 8 Sierra Lima, turning left down, one 27. I have the crosswind traffic in sight. Glad you do, because I'm missing. <laughs> Got another one taken off? Yep, see him. Carson Traffic, Ridge LRV is five miles south. We'll be setting up a 45 for 27 landing. Carson. I don't see him, but he's out there somewhere. Five miles yeah. south. Yeah. Why don't you let him know we're midfield left downwind? Oh. Um, or you can say, a beam, left, the a beam the number's 27 on the left downwind. Carson traffic swing, 8 Sierra Lima, the beam of the numbers left downwind 27. And so for that you'd want to say a beam the numbers 27, left downwind 27, so that they don't get confused to where they might think you meant a beam the numbers niner, left downwind 27. You see? Ah, good idea. But that's, uh, that's okay, Sierra nobody Lima, asked. That, that way there's just no confusion at all and no one has any questions about what's actually going on. Carson traffic, red tail RV is over the capital. Be setting up a 45 looking for the downwind traffic. Carson traffic, swing 8 Sierra Lima, uh, turn and base 27. Carson traffic, uh, red tail RV, we have a Skyhawk on it just passing us. Uh, we got you inside, no longer a factor. Roger that, yes, this is 513 Romeo, it's midfield, left downwind, for 27. And Romeo, downwind, have you uh, already passed midfield? We are just past midfield, 32 Romeo. Cars and traffic, swing 8 Sierra Lima, turn on final, 27. And let him know it's a touch and go. Uh, three miles to the south, climbing out of 6,400. Last call, Carson. Okay, so now we're focusing on our speed. We want trim for 70. You're a little bit off to the left, so start correcting right. that now. Right. There we go. Carson, traffic swing, 8 Sierra Lima, short final, 27, touch and go. Good. Carson Traffic, Red Tail RV is downwind midfield. Uh, Carson the Airport, SF 5132 Romeo. Hey, we're making a good time here, so just keep that going. Remember, you might need a little bit of left or right aileron. Yep, a little bit of left rudder. Okay, start that. Oh, okay, more power. Just a little bit more power. Oh, there we go, that's okay. More power, more power. We weren't lined up there. There we go. Okay, now come off the power. Ah. Oh, a little bit bumpy there. A lot bumpy. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Okay, okay we still got 3,000 feet. Yep. Okay, pop it off. Keep that nose attitude. See how it's right there above the yeah, runway? Right. And we're gaining so speed at the same time. Traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima on the go, 27. Okay. So for that one, it was a little bumpy because we just didn't have enough altitude to lose that speed. And so it just ended up being a little bit squeaky. Yeah. Um, why did we... Why did we... 
need to add power when we did. Because we were way off to the right, and I wanted to make sure that we had power and speed to get ourselves back to the, the middle. Okay. Cars and traffic, swing 8 Sierra Lima, turn and left cross line 27. I almost said go around, but it wasn't a situation where we really needed that. I was thinking that though. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was a good little thermal there. Yep. Ground heating up. And the wind's getting stronger. Cars and traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima, turning left downwind 27. Cars the airport, Cessna 5132, Romeo, left base. Uh, the front one's runway 27, I got that with traffic. Wow, we climbed up in a hurry. Yeah. I mean, I was... I think that, that thermal helped us, too. Well, it did, but when I was letting off the uh, the power, we were still climbing faster than what I'm used to. Currently traffic with that 5132 Romeo is left down with runway 27. Cars traffic red tail RV is clear 27 out 2. Carson traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima, midfield downwind 27. Traffic says the 5132 Romeo is with the left downwind beam at the departure and we're going to do a right 360. There we go. Looking good. Checking area. Make sure we're 45 degrees off the runway before we turn. Right. Traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima, turning base 27. Watch your speed. Did you hear that? You hear yeah, it got quiet? I did. That's how you know, okay, check my speed. We're losing speed. Drop the nose a little bit. We'll keep our one notch up still since that's been working out. Yeah. Cars and traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima, turning final 27, touch and go. So we're on the, oh, we're just below the glide slope, so we're definitely going to need a little bit more power. That's good. Keep that 70 speed. Okay, so now we're popping right back up on that glide slope, so we'll start reducing that throttle so we can stay First on it. traffic, a red tail RV is holding short at Alpha 3. There we go. Keep that nose down just a little. There we go. Add some more power, just so that we can gain our speed back. Okay, that's good. Okay, we've made the runway so you can start taking off power. Right. And idle. We're all the way idle. All the way. Okay. There we go, that was much better. A little bit okay, of a bump, go. but not bad. We're in the air. that nose attitude up. Yeah. Because even though, because remember, this lags. Even though you want to drop the nose, you can see the runway. It's better to keep it, it's better to keep it up a bit so that we're, we're maintaining that climb as soon as possible, but you're also making sure that we're, we're still gaining speed. So there's just like a nice middle ground in there. Okay. I was, uh, I was
was using what I've heard. Is that what Paul told you? Traffic, huh? Yeah. Was that what Paul said? Pretty cool. Not really, but he never complained about it, but from where I got it, where I got it was, hang on. Okay. Oh, we're, we're good. Where I got it was uh, watching uh, flight lessons on YouTube. Oh, okay. Stay in ground effect. Yeah. Carson traffic fleeing 8 Sierra Lima, turning left crosswind 27. So that, staying in ground effect can be helpful for multiple reasons, but in the swing specifically, we have such a good climb rate and we gain speed really fast, so we actually don't need that ground effect as much. Yeah, look where we're and at already. <laughs> exactly. So, here, I'll let you make your call. Carson, traffic fleeing 8 Sierra Lima, turning left downwind 27. So, with some airplanes, like let's say, let's say a Cessna, and I don't really find Cessna, so I'm just kind of using a different airplane as an example. Okay, they're left crosswind. So, maybe they take off and they need a lot of extra time to gain speed. They want to make sure they have that climbing speed um, in that ground effect before they take off. But we're already, already at our climbing speed within seconds after takeoff. So we don't necessarily need that. But if we were doing a soft field takeoff, So let's announce midfield left downwind. Carson traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima. Midfield left downwind 27. So if we were doing a soft field takeoff, you know that. Well, actually, we haven't really done those too much. No, we haven't. So the goal of the short field takeoff is to, or sorry, soft field. So it's like grass or dirt is to um, get off the ground as soon as possible because you don't want to wear out your tires, you don't want to hit a pothole. So if you pop it up before it's ready to fly, that's okay if you stay in the ground effect until it's ready to fly. Oh, okay. So you actually need that extra time in the ground effect, which is where we're, that's what we're going to practice when we do our soft field takeoff. Right. Is you, you start with the takeoff. Okay, go ahead. Carson traffic fleeing 8 Sierra Lima, turning base 27, touch and go. Okay, go ahead. Just, just to give you an, um, a little summary of it, um, when you start the soft field takeoff, you have to stick all the way back to your stomach to pop it off as soon as humanly possible, and then and then we stay in that ground effect until we see that speed. Oh. So, see, in some cases, it's a really great way to take off, but in this case, it's not completely necessary. Not right. a bad thing, though. Carson traffic swing eight Sierra Lima, turn and final two seven, touch and go. Okay, good. We're right on that glide slope. Keep that speed. making our way there. Yeah, I'm still lining up, so yep. I'm not stabilized. Or I don't feel stable. Oh, we're good. We're good. Keep that nose down just a bit. There you go. Okay. Start that round out. Oh, don't over control it. Idle. Cars they traffic test at 5132 Romeo's left base for 27. So I felt right. you a little bit over controlling right at the end there, so let's get back to center and then full throttle. Yeah. Okay, so pop it up. Keep that nose attitude right above the runway there. See, already at 70. Done. Yeah. All right. See that? I'll have to and get then. used to that. Kind of fell into a bad habit. Yeah. Um, see, it, it makes it smoother, you climb, you, you get a good climb faster. 
Yeah. Also, on that landing, did you have a really tight grip? It felt like your grip was really tight and you got to loosen I've, up a little bit. I might have had a, a, a yeah, a pretty, yeah. pretty firm grip there. Yeah, you want to you keep it loose and um, just make very minor adjustments because when you have a really tight grip, that leads to over-controlling very easily. Okay, I'll uh, work on that. Okay. Being up here, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, now you can relax. But I can tell you get a little bit more tense on the landing, which is understandable. Yeah. Carson traffic playing eight Sierra Lima. Uh, turning left crosswind, two seven. Crosswind. Yeah. Person traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima turning left downwind 27. Got our upwind traffic in sight. You do? Yep. Oh, there he is. He's not climbing as fast as we did. Nope. Notice how we, we get up to altitude faster yeah. with that just just that little change on takeoff. Got to the airport seven nine five one three to Romeo is left downwind. Runway two seven will be departing forty five at the fall to east side of valley. Taking off right there. Yep. So, one, so an advantage of the way that I told you to take off is that you climb um, much faster and that gives you more options if you have an engine out, but then the advantage of taking off your way is if you were in the ground effect and you had an engine out, you could just glide right down. Right. So, see, both have their advantages and it just depends on the situation. Makes sense. Swing 8 Sierra Lima, uh, turning left base 27, touch and go. Car State traffic, that's 5132 Romeo, climbing through 6000, departing the area to the south. That's on the east side of the Hey, we're looking good. Looking for any traffic over here. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Yep, where's the good? Carson traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima, turn final 27, touch and go. Keep keep that bank a little bit more shallow. Not 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 that wasn't bad, but just keeping that in mind. Right. I was actually kind of overcorrecting because I was overshooting the runway exactly and so that that's why i want to get in your head that if you do overshoot you have to just tell yourself i'm not going to overbank i'm just going to get on this path until i'm lined up again okay so we're looking right down the end of the runway our speed's looking good we can start coming off that throttle because we know we've made the runway all right Keeping that nose attitude, keeping that speed until we're ready for the round out. Okay, are you, let's get off the throttle. And we're slowing it up as much as we can. There we go. All uh, right, not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. Okay, let's go. See, we're, we're just a little bit crooked because that crosswind kind of messing with us a little bit there. Right. Um, but, these have not been, been bad landings. Yeah, 
down looking at that wind sock down there. What, what's it look like? Kind of this way. Still, still from the north a bit? Okay. A little from the north, mostly west. Okay. And then once we get on the downwind, let's switch our fuel tanks. But let's wait until then. Okay. Because now if anything goes wrong, we have a nice option um, from the downwind a thousand feet up to hit the to get on the runway. Sounds good. Yeah. Carson traffic swing eight Sierra Lima turning left crosswind two seven. Playing eight Sierra Lima, turning left downwind two seven. The traffic red to RV is at the fuel pump crossing the runway to Alpha 3. Switched over to the right tank. Okay. Carson traffic swing at Sierra Lima, midfield, downwind 27. Carson traffic uh, red to RV is clear of the runway at Alpha 3. And then see, when, when your banks are more shallow, it's easier to keep your speed the same. And then it makes just for a much more smooth approach. Yeah. Carson traffic swing, 8 Sierra Lima, turn final, 2-7, touch and go. Okay, so let's focus on that airspeed. I'm too high and too yeah, fast. Too high, too fast. So let's come off that throttle. Let's come off it all the way. Let's just go engine idle. All right. Since we we know we've made the runway, we can add throttle as we get down there as needed to uh, slow our descent. Right. But right now we know that we can do this. Keep, keep that nose down. Oh. Yep. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's a little bit over controlling. That's okay. Okay. Here we can add. Start adding some throttle. 3,000 RPM. Okay, loosen your grip. More throttle. More? Well, now we don't need it, but... Okay, off the throttle, off the throttle. The only reason I said that was we were losing speed a little bit too high, but then it ended up being okay. All right. And so, anyway, here, let's, let's go and I'll explain. All right. Oh, oh. Okay, pop it off. I did. There you go. <laughs> See, if it gets squirrely, just pop it off the runway. If you don't have the speed, keep keeping the ground effect. Okay. Or at least just keep the pressure off of the nose wheel. Accidents happen on the ground too fast on the nose wheel. You see? Okay. So 
anyway, we were just a little bit high on our round out, and we started losing airspeed quicker or sooner than I'd like to. All right. During because during the round out, you want to be about 10 to 15 feet high, and that's where you start losing airspeed. But I felt like we were higher than that. And right. so what we needed to do was drop the nose a little bit, but then if we do, if we drop the nose, now we're descending and we're way too close to the ground, it's going to be... A nose wheel. Exactly. So to make up for that, you add power to keep you afloat in the air, but to also keep that airspeed with the nose down attitude. Right. Carson traffic, swing 8 Sierra, Leva, turning left, crosswind 2-7. Hey, uh... So, do you want to go somewhere else? Is it all right if I just kind of fly around for a few minutes? Yeah. Go uh, ahead. Let's you let's go to Minden. Um, I mean right. not to the airport, but just this area if you want. Okay. Or we could go east to Dayton area. Yeah. We'll go okay. Um. So anyway, it, it the landing ended up being fine. Right. Carson traffic swing 8 Sierra Lima, departing pattern to the south. And remember, you would um, also let them know that you are on crosswind so that they know where you are in the pattern, but it's okay. All right. speed of about the same, so the wind is... Well, I, well look, our, our true airspeed is 86 and 76, right. so we actually have a 10 knot. Right, right, yeah, that, yeah. So we got a 10 knot head, headwind, but... Uh, so what, how about we, let, let's evaluate the wind and see exactly where the strongest, the, the most, the strongest wind is coming from. Okay. So. Keep your, the, try to keep the exact same altitude and your same exact indicated speed for this to be as accurate as possible. And then just a very gradual, maybe 20 degree slow bank in a full circle. Okay. Uh, let's do that a little bit farther south, okay. though. my next student updated. It's okay if we're, see, I'm, sp I'm scheduled with him in 20 minutes, but, oh, okay. but I'm, I'm going to ask him if it's okay if it's a little bit, a little bit later since, since we're doing good here. Fastest ground speed. 
Right. Okay. So we're 69, 68, 67. It's already getting slower as we go this way. Yeah. But remember, keep that keep that speed ride there. Yep. Four. So now we're it looks like we're in a ten knot headwind here. Party three four. Be a left yep. downward departure. 70, 71. Oh, speeding up a little bit. But we we're still. Now we're going. Now see now we're in a cross, the wind. Now we're in a crosswind. Oh, crosswind. Yeah, you're right. See that? It's yeah. either there's no wind happening or we're in a crosswind. It's, right. one, it's one or the other. Okay, so now look at that. Now it's turning into a tailwind, just as we'd expect. Yeah. Still okay. not, not not much though. Yeah, it's coming mostly out of the south, but it's not bad. Okay. Cool. How about we uh, head back to Carson, try a landing? Sure. I think I'm good for one more. Okay. <laughs> I better be. Okay, I'm letting them know we are on our way back. All right, I didn't do too bad on keeping the altitude. I dropped 100 feet a little earlier. I was 100 feet high, so. Not too bad. On um, on the crosswind, or sorry, the cross-country flights. Right. Um, the minimum, or, or the tolerance is plus or minus 200 feet. Oh. For the check ride. Three, four, downward departure. So, okay, so he's down with departure, so he's going to the south. Right. Um, so, on, on your check ride, you'll you'll have like your whole flight plan written out, and then you'll head out onto this flight plan, and you'll stay on it for a little bit until he diverts you and then does all the other stuff. Right. So, 30 downwind, 3 4 departure. But, so for that, it's plus or minus 200 feet. So if you can do that here, just cruising around, right. you're, you're, you're going to be good there. Kind of trimming for 80 knots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're staying level here. Let's see. 80 knots on the indicated airspeed, ground speed's 101 miles an hour. Nice. So we got a tailwind. Ten, a 10 knot tailwind. Yeah. But is it, isn't it interesting how our true airspeed here is 10 knots more than our indicated? Yep. So at sea level, if there were if there was no wind, then our true airspeed would equal our ground speed. Yeah. But here, it uh, it the, the true airspeed might equal the ground speed, but the, but the true airspeed won't equal our, our indicated. Right. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. All right. Linden traffic swing, 8 Sierra Lima, four miles south, or four miles north, northbound, last call, switching to Carson.
Ja. Carson, traffic swing, HCR Lima. Uh, we are six miles south inbound for the 45 left traffic downwind 27. I actually see him over there. I'm looking for him. Over midfield? Yeah. I'm looking, I don't see him against the hillside. I will. There he is. Okay. Yep. I see him now. They, they get so little out there. Yeah. <laughs> Everything gets small really fast. <laughs> Little toy airplanes. Yep. I'm off the throttle so I can glide down here a bit. And let's switch the fuel tanks. It's been just about 30 minutes since we did. All right, switching to the left tank. Try to keep it as even as possible. Carson, they drive to Cessna 5132 Romeo's uh, turning left base with my 2000 pulled up. Get the speed up. Looking around. 
see anybody. Carson traffic swing, H Sierra Lima, turn left, base 27, full stop. Carson traffic, one for whiskey, left crosswind, runway 27, Carson. I can tell we're in a good spot right now because if we had an engine out, we could make it back. Yeah. Always thinking about that. Carson traffic, swing 8 Sierra Lima, turn and final 27, full stop. Oh, birds. Yeah, seagull. Good thing they're below us. Yeah. Okay, so work on that airspeed. So don't, don't forget about the trim. The trim? Yeah, yeah. Just, just a reminder to help you out. Okay. Uh, should I trim down or up? Well, trim to seventy. Okay. So, just, just, just to help okay, you not, okay. not have a like a strong grip on there. There's. There not we that go. Part of the problem. Looking good. Hey. Okay. Start coming off that throttle and start that round out. Nice and easy. Well, don't over control. There we go. Keep it down. Keep slowing it up here. Ah, that was all right. But, no, no, that was fine. Yeah, I'll speed flaps up for you. All right. Because see, when we land as slow as we can, right? Nothing goes wrong. It might be a little boop boop, but. You know, it might be a little bit squeaky if we're not if we're not centered there. And I felt I felt right right at the end you put some rudder in there. I probably I, did. I, I don't I remember. I think it. it was rudder or or just a little too much on the aileron. Right. And so that's just a little bit of of over controlling, and um, that'll that'll get smoothed out as we keep going. Especially if we when we keep getting more crosswind practice and and you feel more confident with um, just how to make the airplane do what you want it to do. Right. Cars and traffic swing eight Sierra Lima is clear of two seven at Alpha three. Smooth out that asphalt back there a little bit. They they did or they should? They should. <laughs> I mean these little airplanes don't have shock absorbers. <laughs> Um, the last time I flew a few days ago, there was a deer, like a buck, running around here. Oh, yeah. Cherokee 6514 Whiskey is about four miles to the northeast. We are northeast bound at 7,000 Carson. And I'm just curious. I'm going to listen to the weather. One five Celsius. Dew point minus one Celsius. Altimeter three zero one six inches of mercury. Carson City Airport. Automated weather observation, 1827 Zulu. Wind, 320 at 9 knots. Visibility, more than 1... 320 right. at 9. I didn't, I didn't even realize it was that strong coming in. Yeah, I didn't feel bad. Yeah. All right, where are we? We are at the shutdown. Engine idle, brake is set lights. Turn those off. Flaps are up. A and B off. Fuel pumps off. Toward the hub's time. Oh, 
Okay, we've got 3079.9. All right, that looks like uh, 1.2. Yep. 1.2. Yes, absolutely. What so, ahead. <laughs> the only, so I felt like that was really good practice. The only thing is that one landing, that was, you know, what one I'm talking about. Right. I, and it's bad to say this, but I think we should have just done a go around on that one. Because right yeah, at the end, we, right. got, we got thrown off. Uh -huh. And a go around the, would have done. It, the go around would have been the best option. And again, it wasn't a really bad landing, but I just feel kind of bad <laughs> that <laughs> I didn't just say it. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't like an emergency feeling where, oh, like, oh shit. It, it was like, okay, things are a little bit off. Right. And we can, like, well, in my head, I'm like, okay, I got, like, I can fix this. This is going to be fine. And it was. It was just a little bit bumpy. Right. But yeah. I also want to create good habits of just going around when it's not good. Yeah. I, I was that close to just saying, I'm going around. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you, at any point, you can do that. Right. No matter what I say. Carson Air Force. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. good. Two seven, yeah. All right, we got the fuel pumps off. We got the obs time recorded. 